I think that my love of costuming and doing characters is is really rooted in my love of Halloween. Um, ever since I was little, it was never just about buying the bagged costume. It was more about finding a piece that you like. You buy the mask, and then it's like, well, what about his hands? What about his feet? What is? What's the rest of the character gonna look like? Now that, now that I work at Spooky World, I I spend a lot of time, you know, right after the season ends, just starting right over again and trying to find the next best character that I can unveil. Um, I usually start with a sketch and I'll just write it out and see, you know, what pieces I can pick up over the course of the time in between seasons just to see, you know, how to really perfect what it is that I envision. Even when I was little, it was never about just wearing the costume that one night. It's like you put that costume on and I was, you know, Wolfman, I was Freddy Krueger. And even now, you know, you just put that costume on and, and that's who you are for, you know, those five or six hours a night. You just completely lose yourself in it. It's an amazing feeling when you finally, you know, see what it is that you started off so simply with and it becomes a whole character that you're wearing. And, the people you work with are like, wow, Brian, that's really great. You know, you did a really good job. And there's pictures of you on the internet with, uh, you know, people you met at the park that took your pictures, and they just think that, you know, it's the most incredible thing. Like, you know, where does this person come from? And it's like, in that moment that they meet you, they'll never know, you know, what you do or who you are. And it's just like, you are that person, and it's, it's just really awesome.